It's lunchtime. Yeah, it's lunchtime. And while everybody knows there are certain foods that damage our health, I've actually figured out which ones are, why they damage our health defense systems. But more importantly, I want to focus on the good things that you should eat because I, I'm kind of a foodie. I love food. I wouldn't say I love eating, but I, I love food. And I think food tells us something about our our childhood, our culture, our families, um, our traditions. Um, and so there's an intimate relationship with our food. And the great news is that many foods, um, uh, including foods that we mix together, and this is the whole point about food synergies, activate our body's health defenses. That's was Dr. William Lee. Dr. Lee believes the key to a vibrant and healthy you lies in the power of natural ingredients. He's not just talking about bland veggie wraps. Dr. Lee focuses on specific foods that can act like cellular cheerleaders, encouraging your body's natural repair system to function at its peak. As a renowned medical doctor, researcher, and author, Dr. William Lee has dedicated his career to exploring how food affects the intricate network of blood vessels in our bodies. His extensive research has led him to identify a unique group of natural ingredients that can support stem cell function, contributing to overall health and longevity. In today's video we explore 5 delicious Dr. Lee inspired lunches that not only satisfy your taste buds but also supercharge your stem cells. Together, with Dr. Lee, we'll show you how to create flavorful and satisfying meals that nourish your body on a cellular level, leaving you feeling energized and ready to conquer the rest of your day. To start, Dr. Lee will talk about a few of the ingredients for the first stem cell boosting lunch. Dr. Will Lee here at a farmer's market. Pop quiz, how many carrots do you need to eat to activate your metabolism each day? Have any answer? Let me show it to you. One, two, three. That's it. Clinical studies have shown that that dose of carrots activates your metabolism. Dr. Lee out. Next ingredient. When we feed our gut bacteria with healthy foods that they like, like dietary fiber, our bacteria make our immune system perform better. And nowhere is this more important than when you're actually fighting cancer. A healthy immune system is critical for beating cancer. A study of 800 people with stage three colon cancer getting treatment with chemotherapy found that those patients who are eating two handfuls of tree nuts a week, almonds, pistachios, walnuts, ca uh, cashews, macadamia, pine nuts, they actually had a 50% decrease in the risk of mortality. The fiber from the nuts feeds the microbiome, which improves immunity, which tips the scales against cancer. And now for the first stem cell regenerating lunch. 1. Rainbow Veggie Power Bowl Ingredients Base of cooked brown rice or quinoa for protein and fiber Topped with a vibrant mix of chopped raw vegetables like spinach, kale, watercress, and shredded carrots Sautéed fiddleheads and bamboo shoots for a unique twist Dressed with a light vinaigrette or a drizzle of tahini sauce Sprinkle of chopped tree nuts for healthy fats Lunch time! Lunch time! Lunch time! Dr. Lee will now talk about a couple of the ingredients for the second stem cell boosting lunch. This turns out to be Swiss chard, rainbow chard. Look at that beautiful color of the stems. Um, I really think this is a, quite an amazing, I think like blood vessels, which is what I study, um, but they're really, really beautiful. And it turns out that Swiss chard uh, is a, a member of the beet family. Beet family like uh, Spinach also is the same member of the family. So what's actually in uh, Swiss chard and beets and spinach that's actually good for your health? It turns out that these plants that glow, grow very low to the ground, okay, they pick up a lot of nitrogen from the soil. Now, nitrogen from the soil uh, actually gets converted in the body, in the gut, into nitric oxide. So here's how it works. Whether you're eating a beet, whether you're eating spinach, or whether you're having Swiss chard... This beautiful stuff, look at that color. What happens when you chew it really well, okay, so that's why it has to be tasty, the um, tongue microbiome, healthy bacteria that's on your tongue actually will convert the nitrogen in the plant from the soil into a form that when you swallow the food, in this case Swiss chard, will actually turn into uh, nitric oxide it's absorbed into your bloodstream. What's nitric oxide? 
Nitric oxide is actually a type of gas, but it doesn't bubble or anything like that. It's in our bloodstream. It causes our blood vessels to dilate, lowers blood pressure, okay, which is a calming thing, but also helps to recruit stem cells, uh, one of our body's health defense systems, to really help us heal and repair from inside out. So I'm going to just pick one of these leaves just to show you um, just how beautiful this can be. I'm going to take a small one. Here, look at this. This baby here has got full of nitrogen from the soil and actually can help recruit stem cells. Next ingredient. Goji berries also can actually reprogram stem cells. And goji berries, you know, it's, it's amazing. It's one, of the, it's one of those continuum, like, you know, you hear, these days you hear a lot about these medicinal um, foods that have been used in Asia for years, like cordyceps mushrooms, which I saw in the marketplace the other day. It's really cool. Um, but goji berries are something uh, very common as an herbal medicine. And I think that one of the things that we need to remember is that when we're borrowing and exploring uh, fascinating food substances that have been used traditionally for thousands of years as medicine in other cultures, we should be just a little cautious that this doesn't mean that we can just be playing around with the substance. But goji berries, you know, which I, you know, I love to put goji berries in tea. Um, if you if you mix it with goji berries with tea, put a date, you know, a dried date in there, uh, put some uh, chrysanthemum flower in there. You kind of create this really nice herbal tea. Tea. You can put um, oolong tea or black tea. You know, so you can you can you can actually find ways to. Um, extract some of these natural substances. Goji berries have um, bioactives like uh, lutein and zeaxanthin, which is good for your vision. Um, but some of these substances also reprogram your fat stem cells as well. And now for our second stem cell regenerating lunch. Two, goji berry and black bean salad wrap. Ingredients, whole wheat tortilla, filled with a bed of chopped Swiss chard or spinach, a scoop of black beans for protein and fiber, Tossed with chopped blackberries, or black chokeberries, depending on availability and goji berries for a burst of antioxidants. Drizzled with a light vinaigrette or lemon juice. Lunchtime. Now the doctor will speak about two of the ingredients for the third stem cell boosting lunch. All right, and berries. And berries. I put berries in there because I'll tell you the amazing thing about berries, they are kind of the candy of nature, mm. right? They're small, they're beautiful, mm. they're sweet. Mm. Um, you can eat a bunch of them. Uh, I, and that's why candies, I just, there are, can, are candies that are shaped like berries, right? So the, the, the thing about berries though, is that they are a great source of vitamin C. They've got great antioxidants. They also have these polyphenols that are kick ass so like and dietary fiber as well of course uh the the key thing is you know people always say well is a sugar in in berries going to be harmful or in fruit going to be harmful you know this is where all not all calories are the same yeah uh, uh fruit contains so many other good things that along with the natural sugars which are most for most people your body can actually tackle you're getting all this other benefits uh that that you wouldn't be getting if you had a can of soda with just added sugar to it right so that's the key thing sugar isn't all sugar because the, the thing that is contained in is going to be different next ingredient green tea has polyphenols called catechins. They help to fire up our brown fat to burn down harmful white fat, so they consume fuel. When fat goes down, your metabolism will actually naturally rise at any age, even middle age people. And by the way, you're also burning away harmful body fat packed inside the tube of your body, and eventually it will also start to affect the fat that you can see in the mirror. I do recommend about three cups of green tea a day. That's where the good stuff starts to happen in your body. Tea leaves or tea bags can actually be used over and over and over again. We don't actually have to throw it out and get a whole new pot. Just put some loose leaf tea, hot water, and you can sip that all day long, and you'll probably have more than three cups over the course of a day. And now for our third stem cell regenerating lunch. Three summer berry and nut smoothie bowl ingredients blended frozen berries such as blueberries raspberries blackberries with a splash of green tea for a touch of caffeine and antioxidants poured into a bowl topped with a dollop of plain yogurt for probiotics granola made with whole grains and chopped nuts like pistachios or walnuts for added protein fiber and healthy fats lunchtime check this out kale right Kale is a brassica. It contains uh, healthy bioactives uh, like isothiocyanates, hard to pronounce, ITCs, 
they uh, create sulforaphanes and the things that make broccoli take, taste kind of sulfury. Uh, but it's really good for you. It's good for your immune system, good for cancer fighting, good for your circulation, good for your gut microbiome. Most of these uh, uh, kale has a good source of dietary fiber. You always now Dr. Lee will speak about a few of the ingredients for the fourth stem cell boosting lunch. Next ingredient. There are foods that just can actually automatically boost our immune system by themselves. Mm -hmm. One of them is mango. You know, I love mangoes. They're juicy, sweet, filled with fiber. They got lots of vitamins and they also have bioactives. And, and I call them mango, by the way, mangoes and stone fruit, grand slammers of foods. These are foods, a whole table of foods I have in my, um, in my uh, book that all activate all five um, uh, defense systems at the same time, including the immune system. So you can slam it out of the park by eating these foods. Mango is one of my favorites. Tasty, juicy, sweet. You get vitamins, good minerals, and it actually contains these natural bioactives that actually can help boost your immune system. And now for our third stem cell regenerating lunch. Four, spicy mango and mustard green salad. Ingredients. Make a base of chopped kale and spinach for vitamins and fiber. Tossed with chopped mustard greens for a spicy kick. Add chunks of fresh mango for sweetness and antioxidants. Dress it with a light vinaigrette and a touch of turmeric for anti-inflammatory benefits. Sprinkle of chopped almonds for healthy fats. One minute is all it takes. Lunch time. Lunch time. Now Dr. Lee will tell us what's special about a few of the ingredients for the final stem cell boosting lunch. Turmeric, which is a kind of a, a root, um... When you cut it open, it's this bright, beautiful, bright orange, a lovely color. And, and turmeric is also a dried spice used in Southeast Asian cuisine, uh, including Indian cuisine is where I first became acquainted with it. It um, uh, not only makes food beautiful, it actually makes food delicious. It's got a qu quite a, a lovely taste to it. It's a, it's a spice. Inside uh, turmeric is curcumin. Curcumin is one of those natural chemicals, kind of like lycopene. It's one of those... Mother Nature's treasure chest, Mother Nature's pharmacy with an F, not a PH. And the, 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 the curcumin has a lot of properties, anti-inflammatory, it's antioxidant, it cuts off the blood supply feeding cancers. Um, it uh, uh, actually is helpful for your stem cells as well. It's, it really activates almost all of your body's health defenses and it's good for your gut microbiome. Next ingredient. Hey there, it is Dr. Will Lee. And I'm actually doing a little traveling right now, and I just wanted to share with you what I'm having for lunch. Uh, and this is how easy it is for me to actually eat to beat disease. Um, okay, I'm not going to actually tell you exactly where I am in terms of, uh, I don't want to be pitching a particular business. But I looked at the menu, and I'm going to show you what I ordered. I ordered chili green beans, okay? Now, it turns out there's a couple of good things in here keep you in a view. So first of all, green beans have carotenoids. So these are the kinds of things that you'd find in um, a carrot or a tomato, uh, a beta cryptoxanthin, lutein, uh, all good stuff. But it turns out that um, uh, that organic uh, uh, green beans actually have more of the polyphenols and flavonoids that actually are antioxidants, good for you. And then here's the interesting thing that most people don't know. When you actually cook green beans, you actually activate and concentrate. You get more of the bioactives. So this is an example where cooking actually can actually light up uh, the, the bioactives. So also on here are some chili, chili peppers. Uh, so it's a little spicy. I got a little side. I asked for a little side of chili. I sometimes like hot sauce. Now, chili actually contains capsaicin. Capsaicin activates receptors on our fat cells. So what does that do when capsaicin uh, activates uh, these receptors, these, like, home, these little dishes, radar dishes in our fat cells? It turns them on and it uh, starts to burn down the fat. So chili actually has now been disco discovered to actually have a fat fighting uh, capability. And now for our fifth stem cell regenerating lunch. Five, fiddlehead and tofu scramble veggie wrap. Ingredients, whole wheat tortilla, filled with scrambled tofu seasoned with turmeric and spices, sauteed fiddleheads for a unique texture, chopped vegetables like green beans and bell peppers, drizzled with a light tahini sauce for creaminess. Please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family, 
and subscribe for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.